right now, FDOT has decided it will no longer pay the SunPass contractor until the electronic tolling system is fixed. News Channel H Jamel and A joins us live from the toll plaza near the Skyway Bridge. And boy, Jamel, millions of customers still worried about their accounts and if they're accurate. Yeah, definitely. They have every reason to be. You know, we're here at the Skyway Bridge. This is one of those locations where millions of drivers, they pass through this toll plaza, and drivers are worried about what charges they'll face once the system is restored. Mike DeMauro is a food delivery driver in Orlando. He's one of the million of Florida drivers now impacted by a broken SunPass system. I was not able to see any transactions before June 1st, and then... I looked online and the only transactions I saw were from June 2nd and I have not seen any transactions since. Tomorrow started a petition asking the state to sue SunPass contractor can do and state and local solutions. Today, the Florida Department of Transportation suspended any further payments until the vendor can process current transactions, eliminate the backlog and provide a financial record of each day's activity. Tomorrow is afraid he'll be hit with additional charges once the system comes back up. I have to try to figure out if that's the correct charge for me, and then mm -hmm. I have to try to figure out if I have enough money in the bank. Florida Senator Daryl Roussan, who sits on the Transportation Committee, says it's the right thing to do. I'm supportive of us finding out what the problem is, stopping the problem, and if there are penalties to be assessed, assess the penalties. And Senator Roussan, he's actually calling on to an investigation into what happened here with uh, the SunPass contractor. So far, we've been told that more than 46 million transactions have been posted to this date. Here in Pinellas County, Jamelina News Channel 8.